Third and about 10 for the Sun Devils from the Arizona 30-yard line. No score in the game, 10 and a half minutes to play in the first period. And you saw graphically what we told you before. Sun Devils very effective on third down. To Aaron Cox, first down and goal for the Sun Devils at the Wildcat 4. Eugene Hardy was covering on the play, along with James DeBoe. 25-yard pickup for the Sun Devils who have completed or converted three consecutive third down opportunities. Got to give Ben Raphorst a lot of credit on that one, too. He just hung there in the pocket, waited to the last possible moment. Aaron Cox running a route that took a long time to complete, but Ben Raphorst came through with a perfect strike, and the Sun Devils in great position to score here. Now the Devils with two tight ends. The only wide man is Bruce Hill. Darrell Harris to the three. He ran into a stone wall. A fumble, and Arizona claims they have it. Chris Singleton came up with it. The Wildcat offense comes out of the field, and it is a fumble. George Hinkle is the man who recovered the ball. Well, Daryl Harris was popped right in the middle after ASU has driven all the way downfield over 75 yards, and Arizona will take over. George Hinkle with the recovery. And Alfred Jenkins comes out to start his final game here at Arizona Stadium. Alfred Jenkins, that quarterback. Only the fourth fumble all season for the Sun Devils. And now the Wildcats begin their first offensive sequence deep in their own territory at the three. That's the fullback, Charles Webb. Dan Salamua knocks him backwards at the seven after a gain of four. Salamua, the nose guard, a senior from National City, California, a 298-pounder. The numbers on Alfred Jenkins, of course, he did not start the Washington State game, did get in late in the contest after Andy Crouch went just about the whole way, but Jenkins is the starter for Larry Smith's Wildcat team here today. Webb is the fullback, Adams is the tailback, and the Cats working with two tight ends. David Adams' first carry, and Adams first to the 11-yard line. Salamua is there, so is Skip McClendon, number 88. But the Pac-10's leading rusher is there to deliver a first down, first of the game for the Cats. David Adams coming off his best game ever a couple weeks ago at Washington State, where he ran for 100 and 82 yards against the Cougars, but a uh, big run there, giving the Wildcats some room to operate at the 16. Those are the figures on Adams, the number 11 rusher in the country this week, and obviously the smallest among the leaders at 5'6 and 167. That's Jenkins rolling. Throwing long. Derek Hill pulled down at the Sun Devil 23 yard by Jeff Joseph. First down, Wildcats after the longest pass of the season. Fifty-eight yards on this play, Pete. Watch Jenkins coming out. Derek Hill makes his move, and there he goes down the sideline. Jenkins with a perfect pass. Hill with the catch, and the Wildcats in great shape now at the 23. Second longest pass of the season. Dave, they had a 67-yarder. Jenkins to Fairholm, the man who's in motion now to win the Colorado game. David Adams hit hard by Scott Steven. Steven, number 90, the devil, a second-team football news All-America selection. He got that honor this week. Stopping Adams for a loss of one. Second and 11, Frank Rudolph aided on the tackle. One of the things, Dave, the Arizona coaches were talking about was the fact that they were concerned about their ability to run the ball against a very strong Sun Devil defense. And, of course, that 58-yard pass could prove to loosen things up. Second and 11 Wildcats from the Sun Devil 24. Derek Hill is the man in motion. David Adams has the football, and Adams moves to the 18-yard line before Scott Steven makes the tackle number 90. Greg Clark aided on the play, the gain of the 18, six yards. So that'll set up Arizona's first third down opportunity of the ball game. 
Sun Devils with a lot of seniors on this team, but they also have a number of good junior linebackers, including Greg Clark and Stacy Harvey. Also, Scott Steven, three guys we'll see again next year. Third and about five for the Wildcats, who have converted 49% of their third down opportunities. Only the Sun Devils have a better mark in the Pac-10. The pitch is to Adams, and David Adams makes a great cut and heads into the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. Jenkins directs a 97-yard drive, a 58-yard pass, and now an 18-yard touchdown pass. And the Wildcats are on the board. They lead six to nothing, and Gary Costin is 27 for 27. We'll try the point after out of the hold of Brett Holly. Tim Shanahan will snap. The boot is good. The Wildcats lead seven to nothing. There's the man that scored, and here's how he did it. Well, it was just a simple pass to Adams as he rolled out to the flat. Jenkins laid it out and let David do it himself. He got a couple good blocks here in front. Valvachekis, Frank Ariola out there. Adams just cuts back, and there he goes. A little spurt, and he's into the end zone for Arizona's first score, the first score of the contest. And the Wildcats 